بسم اللہ الحمد للہ وصلاۃ وسلام علیہ رسول اللہ انڈرسٹینڈ قرآن اینڈ سلاد دا ایزی وے لیسن تھری اے بسم اللہ بائی دا اینڈ آف دس لیسن وی ول لرن ٹویلو ورڈس وچ اکر آلموسٹ فور تھاؤزینڈ تھری ہنڈریڈ ٹائمز ان دا قرآن وی اسٹارٹ ود اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم دیٹ از ہیبٹ نمبر ون ریئلائز دیٹ یو آر ان وار زون ود شیطان ہو از وسپرنگ یو ود ایول تھنگس گیٹ پروٹیکشن بائی سینگ اعوذ باللہ وین ایور ہی اٹیکس یو With Ta'awudh and Surah Al-Fatiha, we will cover nine habits. So we will start Surah Al-Fatiha now, which is the first Surah of Qur'an and which is so important that Allah has commanded us to recite it every day, in every Salah and in every Raka'ah. And words of Al-Fatiha with Ta'awudh occur in the Qur'an almost 9,000 times. Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. This ayah is called Basmala. B is in, Ism is name. Bismi in the name ism is singular asma is plural like asma ul husna allah's best names bismillah in the name of allah which means i start my work in the name of allah i read i write i do anything in the name of allah ar rahman the most gracious actually the words in arabic on this pattern show intensity like ghadban extremely angry bursting with anger so ar rahman is extremely caring and kind intensely merciful ar rahim the most merciful the words on this pattern show continuity like jamil beautiful will you call someone beautiful who was ugly yesterday so ar rahim means continually caring and kind continually merciful Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. So you got to multiply the intensity with continuity. When you recite this, imagine or visualize the care and kindness of Allah. Look how he has designed the earth, sun, clouds, rain, food, parents, and your own body, especially the digestive system for us to survive. So recite it with the hope of getting his help and with the feelings of praising Allah for his extreme care and kindness. This is habit number two. That is, we start every work with the name of extremely caring and kind Allah. And when we do that, naturally, he will grant his blessings in this world and his absolute Rahmah in Akhirah, continuous and never-ending Rahmah. When we start with Basmala, it reminds us not to do anything that displeases Ar-Rahman. Ar-Rahman allama al-Qur'an. Ar-Rahman has taught the Qur'an. So when we start reciting the Qur'an, remembering his attribute, he will help us learn it and open our hearts to its message. Saying Basmala is more effective when it comes from the heart. That is when we realize who Allah is. So we say, Oh Allah, help us study the Qur'an and your names and attributes so that we can realize your greatness and your rahma that's it for now see you in lesson 3b jazakumullah khair wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh